electing to uh, defer our, our choice to the second half because of a win factor, as it turned out. Uh, as it turned out, we had to, had to win in the first quarter to start the ball game and in the fourth quarter to end the ball game up. Here's an option play by their quarterback, Wallace, and we had a missed assignment by an inside linebacker who was supposed to have a quarterback on that play. But overall, I thought our defense played real well. Turned the ball over. Here's uh, Britton Cooper making an interception here very early in the game uh, to give the offense a, a chance to put the ball in the end zone. We come up a little bit short there on the third down situation. Uh, here's Paul Carruth on a draw play, doing a real good job. He had some uh, 74, 75 yards on something like 13 or 14 carries. Here's Paul again on, on the draw play. I tell you, there's some people uh, lining the lining the, the sidelines there yesterday that were very familiar people that played around here about 20 years ago. Some old teammates of mine, uh, the 1964 team. We also had. Uh, an earlier group, the 1934 Rose Bowl team in, and it was just really nice seeing all those people in and having a chance to see the ones that I played with and having a chance to visit with those uh, on the 34 team. We had some play uh, ex-players, uh, people here that played on the 1930 team, and it was really nice to, to see those and, and hear some of their old stories. Uh, but here our defense is again. <clears throat> they drop it off to the back underneath a little delay route. But uh, I thought overall we played an awful lot of people, shuffling them in and out, trying to keep them fresh, trying to give everybody a chance to play. Here's Paul Tripoli making a great, great play, uh, making a hit right when the ball's getting there uh, on their receiver down the middle. Here's Larry Roberts putting some good pressure and finally get him uh, uh, get a sack on the quarterback. <clears throat> Here's Mike Shula handing the ball off to Paul Carruth, another good run by Paul here. Had a real fine day. He was one of our captains yesterday, our captains with Paul. And, John Han on defense and Billy Pierce uh, in our kicking game. We have three captains, uh, at least three every week, one in each phase of the game. <clears throat> Here's a rollout and a little bootleg pass, and we just missed connect, making a big play here. We missed, uh, we missed connections on, uh, on several plays yesterday of, of having some real big plays. Here's a fumble exchange, and uh, we have a couple of these ourselves that, uh, that we've really got to work out. A little option play. This is a third down situation. We come up just a little bit short. Then we sneak it in, uh, sneak it for the yard, uh, a little bit less than a yard, really, on fourth down here. And then uh, for the touchdown, we hit Paul Carruth. Vince Sutton hits Paul Carruth uh, in the end zone for the, for the touchdown. <clears throat> but Paul had a fine day, uh, both running the football. Here's a little slow, slow motion replay of it. There he is all by himself, uh, all by himself in the end zone. He does a fine job of catching the football. Vince did a, did a real fine job of getting the ball to him. So we go up 10, uh, 10 nothing there uh, with just a little under two minutes to go in the first quarter. This might be one of the kicks that, no, <clears throat> we, have, we exchanged kicking the ball out of the end zone. Some of you that are not familiar, we're down there swarming that football. We did a great job covering kickoffs yesterday, got him down there inside the 20-yard line quite a few times. Uh, we wind up the first quarter 10 to nothing. Action in the second quarter. Our defense holds uh, their offense and forces them to punt. Greg Richardson's taking the ball on about the minus 42-yard line. You don't have to give Greg much of a crack. He's got great speed here. He tries to cut back a little bit, finally gets uh, pulled down on the plus 15-yard line, giving our offense the ball uh, in just absolutely great field position. You can see how the guys get a little excited there. That's one thing we did. Here it is again in slow motion <clears throat> replay. Uh, that's one thing our players did yesterday throughout the football game, I think, uh, uh, more so uh, than they did in the first two games. We just went out and had a lot of fun. And uh, that's uh, one of the gratifying things as a coach when you see your players out there just hooping and hollering and having a lot of fun. Here's Doug Allen uh, scoring his first touchdown as a co uh, college player on a little draw play and it uh, gets caught up inside and he bounces it back outside. Here's another replay of it, ground level. I was real happy to see Doug get in and, uh, and have a good game overall. We wanted to play him uh, probably a little more than, than we did, but uh, Paul Cruz had a, had a really outstanding day at the running back spot. Here's their quarterback, Wallace. Here's John Hand getting, getting free, and when John Hand gets free back in there, it's kind of hard to uh, stop him. Here's Chester Braggs. Uh, making a good run on a uh, on a draw play uh, off the strong side there, picking up a big valuable first down. Toss play, <clears throat> fake toss play on the reverse to Greg Richardson again. Makes a good run. I don't know if you saw it or not. Number ten there, Vince Sutton made a really fine block 
uh, to, to aid uh, Greg in picking up about five or six more extra yards. There's a little option play to the weak side. Quarterback, they make uh, Vince keep it, pick up six, seven yards. Uh, that's the one thing we want to try to do on first down, uh, pick up four yards or more. Uh, whether we're running it or throwing it, here's Don Horstead making a real physical, tough run and tough yardage there. <clears throat> here's where we break down on pass protection. We get hit in the back. Quarterback does. He can't see the guy. And uh, Gator Bennett, uh, who is a really fine football player, defensive tackle for him, picks it off in midair and runs it back. Uh, here's one of the scores that we give him. And uh, then we turn it over a little bit later and give him an opportunity to score again. Here's Preston Gothard. This is the play he gets hurt on. We thought originally that he had uh, a fractured rib, but it's not fractured. We x-rayed it right after the ball game, and it was uh, the x-rays were negative. Here they get their hands up at the line of scrimmage and, and bats one down on the third down situation. That's one of the things that we didn't do uh, in, at, some, at some times when we needed to pick up a third down eight, third down seven, third down 11. Those valuable third down conversions that keep drives alive. Uh, keep you from having to punt the football. They fumble the ball, lay it on the ground, which we all know you can't do, and John Hand uh, recovers the ball for us. Uh, the offense takes it over. Quick hit and play up the middle with Paul Cruz. They just trip him up a little bit at the line of scrimmage. Still gets about eight or nine yards on it. <clears throat> field goal try by Van Tiffin. This is something like a 48-yard field goal attempt that, uh, that, he, that he's just wide on. But he makes uh, three out of the four that he tries all day. Van's just hitting the ball extremely well. He's, he's, he's just an outstanding kicker. <clears throat> Here's our defense playing good, solid defense. Holds him. Then coming in to block the kick is a walk-on, Paul Tripoli. Uh, we put Paul on scholarship this year. He's been here as a walk-on. He's, he's took over as our starting strong safety this year also. But uh, really good player. He's the option play out to Paul Carruth. And then Paul takes it in. It's a great effort here to get the ball in the end zone by Paul. I think we're going to replay this at ground level, and you'll see, uh, see just what kind of an effort he makes right here, stretching and squirming and grunting. And that puts the score at 24 to 7. This is where I think this is where, our, where we lose the ball on an exchange, center quarterback exchange. On the plus 24-yard uh, line, puts their defense in a really bad spot, gives their offense the ball in great field position. And their quarterback, Wallace, does a good job of cutting it back across the green on a third down play and getting it in the end zone for a touchdown. That's their scoring uh, right there. And we're going into half 24 to 14. Play in the third quarter, coming out the second half, we know we're going to get the football. We take the kickoff, and then we start on offense uh, about the 30-yard line. Here's a play for Paul Carruth on the right side. But we take this, uh, take this drive, and I think we have 14 plays in it. I was real happy to see this, and we talked about at halftime that, uh, hey, their defense wasn't giving us anything that we haven't worked on or, or things that should be giving us the problems that a few times that did give us problems in the first half. And uh, I was real proud of the way our offense came out and uh, put 14 play drive together and take it down for a touchdown. Here's Doug Allen catching the, foot, catching the ball out on the flare pass. Here's a toss play to Ricky Moore. <clears throat> One of his little patented runs loses his balance right there. He might have gone all the way. That was a safety or a corner that made the play on it. Ben Sutton hits uh, three or four uh, nice plays on the pass uh, in the course of the drive. Here's an option play. Keeps it. They force him to keep it. Pick up five or six yards. I think this was a third and three situation. And we come in, going to go for the touchdown. Uh, they cause interference. But on this same play, we commit a holding call, which was an offsetting penalties. But we uh, maintain our poise and, and get it back. And now here's Doug Allen taking it down to the down to one or two yard line. On a second down situation, we hit Paul Cruz. He's wide open in the end zone on a spin out pass for the touchdown. So I was just uh, real pleased to see our offense put that drive together here coming out the second half because we had sputtered quite a bit in the first half. Uh, Really, the points that we've gotten on the board uh, were more of a result of the defense turning the ball over, which you, which you need to have, but turning the ball over in, in real good football position. Here's their quarterback, Wallace, coming out now on the sprint out. They, uh, they were very effective with that sprint out play right there to either side, <clears throat> and then some gaps uh, open up, and, and uh, he hurts a little bit running with the football. But also, they have a little trouble holding on to the ball. Our, our guys are, are really making some good licks and uh, in addition out some good blows. We get hit in the back a little bit right here on a, on a pass protection. 
if it causes the ball to be underthrown, that's not really the quarterback's fault because uh, Ben Sutton, he don't have eyes in the back of his head, and that's going to happen sometime. But uh, we've just got to really work uh, a little bit harder on our pass protection, especially on that backside and weak side. Either offense comes out with that sprint out play again, hit the tight end. Here's Roy Turner coming up and making the lick. He's going to make the lick here in a few minutes and, uh, and cause a fumble and get us a turnover. Here's Vernon Wilkerson making a great play on the ball and uh, making one of the interceptions that our defense uh, made during the day. Puts our offense in great field position, a little quick handoff for three or four yards to Chester Braggs. Chester Braggs had a great day uh, for us in the kicking game. We bring, bring Gray Richardson back a little bit here and fail to pick up the first down and have to punt the ball away. We've got to do a better job there on those third down situations, knowing exactly what we've got to have and make sure that we get it. And their, uh, their return man fair catches the ball here. And we go out. Here's the lick right here. Great lick right there by Roy Turner. And uh, we come up with football. I think it's Joe Godwin, inside linebacker, who started inside linebacker, uh, came up with the football and uh, gives, once again, gives the offense great field position on the plus 30, uh, plus 35 yard line. Toss play to Ricky Moore, watch him right here. He just runs over people. It's a patented run by Ricky Moore. And we wind up the third quarter, uh, 31 to 14. We start off with a continuation of a drive with a draw play to, to Doug Allen. With some good yardage up the middle, coming off the football. Uh, here's a Van Tiffin field goal. One of the two field goals that we score in that, in that fourth quarter. Uh, in the first quarter there, I, I began to talk about a kickoff, a new kickoff rule. Uh, here's one of our kickoffs here. It's a little bit short. And the reason it's short is because Terry Sanders kicked one clean out of the end zone one time. In which case, if, if the ball hits out of the end zone, or if it hits in the end zone and rolls out, it comes out to 20. It has to hit completely out of the field of play uh, beyond the end line for it to come out to the 30. We exchanged those kicks. Their kicker kicked one completely out, in which case we took over on the 30-yard line. Here's a great interception by, by David uh, Valletto, uh, one of our free safeties. Uh, but uh, we also kicked one out and uh, put their offense on the, on the 30 which is a new rule this year, just in case uh, some of you had some question about why the ball was brought out to the 30 rather than the 20. There's a second field goal uh, by Van Tiffin, which uh, that would be all the scoring that's done. It's 37-14, where it came out. Here's another kickoff. Uh, Terry Sanders just did, does a great job of kicking the ball off, and uh, he's not really kicking it as far or as hard as he can right here, and it's coming down on the goal line for fear of, uh, for fear of it going uh, all the way out of the end zone. Uh, and bringing it back out to the 30-yard line. Here's their quarterback, Wallace, keeping it on a little option-type play on the weak side. Here's that rollout pass again that hurt us somewhat. <clears throat> Tackle them, keep them in front of you. We did a real good job with this. Uh, one of the things that I was real proud of is, uh, is, is the way that our people just got after people, and we were all in the ball game, on the sidelines, in the game, and playing a lot of people. We played an awful lot of an awful lot of people, and it's very gratifying to, to go in the dressing room after the game, after you've had a victory, and, and have a little hooping and hollering, a little singing, and know that uh, know that quite a few of them had some kind of contribution to that win, and know that they're all happy about it. Here's their kicker uh, kicking it a field goal and, uh, and missing it, putting our putting our offense in shape on the 21. <clears throat> we come up with a second down situation. They do a real good job of defense in this play. It's a little quick screen out to our halfback on the weak side. They do a real good job. Here's a great throw by, by Mike Shuler. Uh, it's a big third down play there again. We just dropped the football. I think we have about uh, five or six drop balls yesterday. That would have been real nice plays for us. And you just can't, uh, can't drop the football, especially in a third down situation. Here's their return man doing a good job of returning the punt. And, uh, but I was just uh, real proud of the way our guys got after, got after things all day. Just, just had a lot of fun. And uh, that's what you're supposed to do on Saturday. You work during the week, practice, put in a lot of time meeting-wise, and uh, make sacrifices as players and as coaches and on Saturday afternoon and put the silks on. That's when, you, that's when you're supposed to have a ball and have a lot of fun. And I think our players did, and I'm just very proud of them. We end up the game 37-14. Uh,